Hon är en mycket kontroversiell artist som har sjungit om både våldtäkter om att onanera i kyrkan. Men sen så har hon också några av de mest hängivna fansen och sålt flera miljoner och miljoner skivor. På Blixtvisit i Sverige, bara för er, här är Tori Amos! It's great to have you here on our show. Thank you. We're glad you had time to stop by. Uh, your new album is out. I have to go directly to a question that I've been thinking of. I've been listening to this uh, all week. On one of the songs uh, called Deitura, mm. you whisper the names of different herbs, I guess. Yeah. Uh, like natal plum, Mexican bush sage, gumbo limbo, golden shrimp, Belize shrimp, weeping sabiku. Plutoria blue pea. Okay, blue pea, all right. Yeah. And uh, why do you do this? What, 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 what herbs are they? They're all in my garden. Are they? Because that's what I was thinking. Yeah, but that's before the hurricane. And now they're not in my garden. But the hurricane, uh, uh, is, was it in your garden in England or in... Uh... Uh, in the tropics. In the tropics? In, in Florida, yeah. Oh, okay. Are you kidding? I couldn't live in England all the time. I'd shoot those people. Okay. <laughs> why? They drive me nuts. I mean, I, I'm married to one. Yeah. But... Because you're an American artist, but you're yeah. married to a Brit British man. Yeah. And you're living in Cromwell. Yeah. Most of the, when you, you don't shoot them, and when you're when I'm not <laughs> flying out. Okay. I mean, it's good, but sometimes it's just a bit depressing. Living in England. Yeah. Yeah, I can understand. It's like living in Stockholm. Oh, is when, it? Yeah. It's very gray and rainy. And... Yeah, but sometimes I think the people. There's a side to the Brits that I adore. I mean, I married one. Yeah, which God, side was it's that? It's good he's not watching this. Oh, know. he's never going to see this. No, he's not going to see this. Now, do you really love him? <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I do. Yeah. But, you know, he's ornery. They, they, ornery, um... What is that? Honorary. Grumpy. Grumpy. Sometimes they have a good sense of humor, but it's like... Yeah. You know? That's a bit like Swedes as well. Is it? Yeah, they're very serious. Yeah. But what do you mean? You have two houses? You have one in Florida? No, I have three. Where's the third one? I don't... I like odd numbers. Okay. I don't believe in, you okay. know, two of anything. Cromwell, Florida... And Ireland. And Ireland as well. Wow. Yeah. I'm rich. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How many records have you sold? I... I don't tell. You don't tell. It's... But these herbs you had in your garden in uh, Florida... Yeah. Before... Including Detura. Okay. Which is a wonderful hallucinogen. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was going to come to. Prova inte detta hemma. Uh, have you, how do you prepare it? Well, this is one that I haven't done because if you have too much um, of the elixir from the stamen when you put it in water, then you die. Okay. Definitely don't try this at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just poof. Yeah, okay. But the other are just regular herbs and spices, or? Yeah, and flowers and... Yeah. So you're really a gardener? No, no, I have... Gardeners. <laughs> okay, you're rich. I've yeah. <laughs> kind of, you know. Okay, I understand. This is an interesting album that's come out. It's a double CD. Uh, one CD with live tracks and one with new material. Yeah. And the live tracks are uh, your, like your hits. Well, no, actually, I, I haven't had any hits. <laughs> oh, you have? Cornflake Girl? Oh, kind of, yeah. yeah. But mostly, um, they're just songs that I thought really worked live on my last tour. Because mm -hmm. I always make albums never just a single so i put together what would have been like a live show okay i understand that playing live is very important to you yeah oh yeah it's like uh, the that's why you're doing in the business or well i think it's it's passionate because you can't lie when you're playing live no? i mean you can have great sound guys you can have uh, fantastic lights but the bottom line is um, if you fall off your stool, you fall off your stool. Yeah. And everybody sees it. And... That's true. Uh, you seem to have a very devoted uh, fan base. You don't like the word fan, do you? No. Why not? I think it's kind of degrading. Towards them? Yeah, I do. So what do you call them? The people that come to the shows. Oh, okay. 
Have you met my people who come to my shows? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> These are probably your people that come to your shows. Uh, and uh, I, I mean, I've heard they do crazy stuff. There's one lady that makes dolls and sells them. Yeah. Have you met her? <laughs> yeah. Okay. How is she? She's fine. She okay. does. She does very well All making right. dolls. She's very successful. But I think what. What excites me is that you see a lot of people that, um, I don't know, they leave school and they're trying to find their own creativity and their parents wanted them to be something mm. and they don't want to be that anymore. They're like, you know, I really don't want to be this lawyer. That's so not what I want. More of an inspiration? Or I don't know what I am. Sometimes I think I'm just sort of a nice distraction okay. while, they, while they figure out what they're doing. I heard that you sometimes sit uh, before a concert and read uh, 10 fan letters before you go on stage. Well, yeah, sure. You, we have a lot of letters and I think it, it gets you kind of aware of what your audience is that night. Yeah. And I don't write my set list till like 10 minutes before a show. Oh, so if somebody wrote you a letter that they wanted to hear Cornflake Girl, you may, might add that. Not necessarily. <laughs> okay, you might take it away. <laughs> May, I mean, usually... She's not going to get this. Usually you, you hear stuff from people where you go, um, I don't know, it, people have unique stories. And it always surprises me just when you think you've heard everything. People have fascinating... You all have fascinating lives. Give an example of an interesting story. Um, well, unfortunately, some of them are really tragic, so... Oh. So you read yeah. this actually before you go on stage? Of course. And yeah. maybe there's this real, really tragic story. Sure. You still go up there and perform. Yeah, and you try and fit the song that they want in, usually. All right. But an interesting thing was when you were 13, you started playing in uh, gay bars. Yeah. Why gay bars? Because they were the only people that would have me. Okay. <laughs> and what did you play? Show tunes. Okay. Put another nickel in. Uh, uh, hello, Dolly. Oh, well, yeah. hello. You know. <laughs> yeah, they like that. Yeah. yeah. Just great show tunes. Okay. Cole Porter. But I mean, 13 years old in gay bars playing piano late it's at fantastic. night. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they taught me how to give head. Okay. How did they teach you that? On a pickle, on a cucumber. <laughs> when I was 15, though. Okay. Nice oh, that's better. What did your father say about that? No, he, doesn't, he doesn't know about that. Oh, okay. And he won't see the show won't... either. Yeah. Okay. What's the trick to giving head, is my question. Um, <coughs> well, if you learn on a pickle, yeah. I could show you. If okay. we get you a pickle, <laughs> and if you leave teeth marks, that's not okay. Okay. We're not going to do that here. <laughs> yeah. We're so glad you came here. We're going to hear you in a few minutes. Before I let you go, we have a little tradition that we play the angry game before we let our guests okay. go. Have you heard about the angry no. game? It's like a child's game. You look into each other's eyes and the first one who starts laughing loses. Oh, no. And there's absolutely no touching. No touching. No touching. No touching. Okay. Are you ready, Tori Amos? The angry game starts now. Tack så mycket. Vad härligt. Då, så, då ska ni få höra henne spela live också. Det hon gillar allra bäst för er, Tori Amos. Här är A Thousand Oceans. Yeah. 
Utan gurka den här gången, Tori Amos. Härligt, en vacker avslutning på en härlig kväll. Vi är tillbaka nästa vecka, då får vi riktigt stor främmande. Då kommer superdivan Mariah Carey hit. Och eh, mästerregissören Roman Polanski som är här på Stockholms internationella filmfestival. Nu vill jag att ni sitter kvar i soffan för efter reklamen kommer South Park. Titta på det, hej då!